I'm here to share with you my experience when microdosing with the psilocybin mushrooms, specifically following the Paul Stamets nootropic stack. My name is Jeff. I'm from neurogrowth.ca, and yes, we are really gonna hone in on this Paul Stamets nootropic stack. So first of all, who's Paul Stamets? He is one of the leaders in mushroom research, and I definitely recommend typing his name into YouTube right after this video. The second thing, what is a nootropic? This is kind of a new word, and the buzz about it is it's all about brain health and not really so much as healing the brain, but more on the side of evolving the brain, doing more than you used to be able to. People like MMA fighters, people involved in lots of sports, they are all about the nootropics. So let's get into it here. So what is the Paul Stamets stack? So he talks about taking a psilocybin mushrooms with lion's mane mushroom, with niacin, which is vitamin B3. So first of all, I did not like the niacin part of it. You get flushes, you get very itchy. This caused me to be quite irritated. Now the point of the niacin is it gets the mushrooms everywhere. It gets them to the ends of the fingers and toes and into the brain. It gets them into the skin cells and fat cells so you can have a much better healing experience. However, I found through my diet and lifestyle, I was able to get way more than enough vitamin B3 or niacin, and I wasn't getting the flushes and the irritation. So I highly recommend try the niacin at first. You can get it from almost any health food store, and if you have those same experiences, you can just try and get it through your food. I know some people say when you eat it with a fat or a protein, it heavily reduces the flushing and the irritation. But for me, moving forward, I decided to go with our very own neurogrowth formula, which was a psilocybin, lion's mane, and macunia. And we'll have some other videos on Macuna to tell you why we used it. And long story short, it's all about dopamine and feeling good. They even call it the feel good bean. And I just found it blended so well and worked amazing. So when I first started doing the microdosing, the first thing was way less worrying, way less anxiety. And this allowed me to just start getting so much more done in a day, started making me feel so fulfilled at nighttime when I was going to bed. And then what started to happen were some of these nootropic benefits. My memory got way better. Sometimes it's almost scary. Like people will ask me a question about something that happened a few weeks ago and boom, the answer's right there. And it even scare myself sometimes because my memory has never been very good, let alone has it been amazing. And since doing this microdosing, it's just been brought up to a whole nother level. And my line of work, I see a lot of people, it's so nice to be able to actually remember their names. Doesn't happen all the time, but you know, I'm meeting 50, 60 people a day, and to be able, when you see them in a few weeks, to remember their name, they just feel so special, and it allows me to connect with them on a much deeper level. And then the other thing that started to happen was way less depression. At this stage of my life, I wasn't really suffering from depression, but I would definitely have my bad days. And then they could snowball into more bad days, or maybe just something bad would happen during the day, and that would snowball and kind of ruin the whole day. Whereas I found when I was microdosing, that wouldn't happen. Obviously, bad things still happen, or things that are, you know, subpar, but I found there was no snowball effect. I was able to look at it for what it was, learn from it, and then just move on and, and let go of it if it no longer served me. And then I was also feeling way more joy and just being at this higher cognitive level with the better memory, thinking faster, being able to deliver these talks in a much more high vibe way and remember all the facts that I have written down here without looking down 40 times. These, you know, these benefits 
to me equaled more joy. You just get this amazing sense of fulfillment. You're starting to hit your goals and while doing it, you're getting smarter, better memory. And that has been my experience on the Paul Stamets stack. So just again, I wanna note, I did drop out the niacin, but I made sure I was getting it in my diet. I'm not one to count calories or things like that, but for a while there I was, I had a little app that tracked my vitamin B3, which is niacin, and I made sure I was at least at 150% every day. Wanted to get a little more than just the daily recommended, and I wasn't getting the itching, wasn't getting the irritation, and I just found I was getting a lot of benefits from taking the Makuna with it as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I want to hear from you. Has anyone else tried the Paul Stamets nootropic stack? Did you get the flushing and irritation? Did you find maybe other things that helped with that? Because I'm very curious to know so I can share that with others as well. Like the video, subscribe down below, and share with all your friends. And of course, reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.